Hello, I'm Jason with ScienceMath.com, and today we're going to talk about prime factorization of numbers. Uh, it's a topic that you'll be asked to conquer. It's an easy topic to master, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that now. Now, first, remember from a couple of sections ago, we talked about factoring. We talked about factoring numbers. And just remember that a factor is just a number that can be divided into whatever number I'm referring to. That's all a factor is. Another way of looking at that is seeing that any two numbers that can multiply together and give you that other number, they're both factors. So what we're going to do is use that idea to build what we call a factor tree uh, to find these prime factors. And I'll explain what a prime factor is along the way. The easiest way to move forward is by an example. So what we're going to have, let's just take an example. Let's say we have the number 24. And you're not just asked to find the factors of 24. We've done that in a previous section. What you're asked to do here is figure out what are the prime factors. What are the prime factors of 24? So anytime you see that you're asked to find the prime factors of anything, then you do what we call a factor tree. And between you and me, I actually love building factor trees. They're actually fun for me. So let me show you how to do that, and you'll see that yourself. All you do is think of any two numbers, any two numbers at all, that will multiply to give 24. So there's lots of different ways to proceed. So in this case, let's just say that I pick 8 times 3. So I'm going to put a little dot here because it's 8 times 3. If you remember from multiplication tables, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. Okay, so this is building our factor tree. So we're going to build a tree down here. Now the next thing you do is you look at 8. So there are a couple of choices, but let me just go with 2 times 3. 4, because 2 times 4 give me 8. All right, now let's look at the 4 down here. Do I have any two numbers that can multiply together to give me 4? And of course I do. I have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 gives me 4. Now what we have is we've built a factor tree, and at the very bottom of this tree is what we're interested in. You could look here and you could ask yourself, what multiplies together to give me 2? But the only thing that can multiply together to give you 2 is 1 times 2. There's nothing else that can really work. In other words, the number 2 is so simple and so small that there's nothing really that can multiply together um, to give me 2 except for the number 1 times the number 2. So we're done at that point. You don't keep building the tree once you get down to that point. Um, also, here's a 2 and here's a 2. Notice the other guy we have at the bottom of this leg of the tree is a 3. The only two numbers that can multiply together to give you 3 is 1 times 3. And there's nothing else that'll work. So you build your factor tree going down every branch, continuing to write down what multiplies together, okay, until you get to the point where you get down to these low numbers that you just can't keep finding new factors for other than the number 1 and, and the number itself. So we say this factor tree is complete. And so what we want to do is write down um, the answer. And so since we were trying to find the prime factors of this guy, what we found is the prime factors of the number 24 is 2, comma, 2, comma, 2, comma, 3. So what you do is you list everything at the bottom of the tree. 2, 2, 2, and 3. See, this tree has gone and done its thing and we're, we're done with it. So every number at the bottom of the tree and every branch is what we write down. So what we're saying here is that these are 